Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video I'll be making a clock. So I started off by wheel throwing. I wheel through a very simplistic uh, plate and I'm using this as a base for my clock. This is actually for my Ceramics 2 class and the, the reason I didn't do any details on the, the plate is just because I wanted this to be very simplistic and then I'll sculpt uh, add additional elements onto the plate. So the requirements for this Ceramics 2 project was that I had to make a sculpture plate or use the plate as some sort of canvas. I was inspired by some sort of like pipes and steampunk ideas, so I went with that. I did a steampunk clock, and I decided for the letterings or the numbers on the clock, I would go with Roman numerals because that kind of fit with the old fashioned steampunk vibe I was getting from it. This project took a very long time, but I didn't have the time. <laughs> I, I'm going through finals right now, and it's it's a lot of work and a lot of time I have to put into all my other classes. So I didn't really have too much time to finish this project. Um, so I had to bring it all home. As you can see, I'm not working in the studio. I brought it all home and worked till all hours of the night just trying to get it done. As you can see here, I'm making every single individual letter for the Roman numerals, which took so long. And um, to, looking back to it, I kind of wish I had just painted or glazed these numbers on. Um, but they wouldn't have been as perfect if I had done that, and it wouldn't look the same. I don't think it would have looked as detailed. So I'm glad I did sculpt them on. It just took an unreasonably amount of time. It was it was crazy, crazy. All right, so after I finished all the numbers, which took a very long time, I made a bunch of gears and some pipes, as you can see there. I had sculpted a gear, and I used, uh, I actually used a roll of tape to make a perfect circle, or like a close to a perfect circle. And then for the pipe, I just made some coils and added a lot of details. So I was really happy with this project and the way it turned out. It's actually already been fired inside the kiln. It didn't crack at all or anything is wrong with it. The only thing is I did make a pipe that was uh, goes down to the bottom of the clock, which you'll see in a few seconds. Um, but that pipe ended up cracking inside the kiln. It was only one small crack, which I'll just um, I'll glue and I'll atta reattach later after I um, glaze the piece. But I'm glad I made this clock. It was a lot of fun, and I, I had a good time doing it. Um, it was hard with all the small individual parts, but the requirement for the project was just, as like I said, to make a sculpture uh, the, out, out of the plates. And I definitely think that I, I did pretty well with this project, and I liked the end results. I am going to buy the mechanism for a clock to put inside the sculpture, and I'm eventually going to hang this on my wall and hopefully have a working steampunk clock, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, the gears here, I, I decided to uh, cut some of the gears in half and attach them to the sides of the plates um, and I wanted to make it look kind of balanced so I put most of the gears on the bottom right and a pipe and then I put the other uh, gears and like some sort of like pipes on the top left as you can see there and then this is the uh, coil that I the giant coil that I had made I used a string to imprint um, circles or around the, the, the coil and that ended up making a crack which I like I mentioned but I'll just glue that later and I also made a hole for the center of the plate just so I can put the clock mechanisms and the hour hands um, inside the clock and that's where the mechanism would go and uh, I assembled it all just slipped and scored everything which took a bit um, but then it's finally finished I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, it's a pretty quick one it's a pretty fun project I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you in the next one